Japan. USA. I'm Julian from Team Animal Style. We're here today at Thunder Hill Raceway. We've got Naoki Nakamura here. We've, uh, we've been working on his car the last couple weeks. Really, really excited to have him here and get a chance to drive with him. Really amazing. Why we've done the project is because of the of the culture issues that he has in Japan. So basically, worldwide he gets respected because of his skill, but in Japan he suffers with a lot of things that are not just because of skill problem. Basically, the politics. Yeah, I wanted to see Naoki show his pure talent, and that was number one that he gets the opportunity to drive hardcore in the most competitive way he can. You know. Why did we plan this event? Well, we had an opportunity and we seized it and we wanted to uh, open people's minds to uh, what real drifting is. Happy he was able to, uh, to show, show the world what he's truly capable of on, this, on a stage that, that allowed him to uh, demonstrate that. There was a lot of disbelief. Uh, not too many people have the opportunity to see him outside of Japan. America's a huge stage, so bringing him here was a, a big deal. And I'm just happy, happy for him. Naoki has always had a really unique and exciting car style. So when uh, I was asked to collaborate with Yoshinaga Ryo on the design, I was really honored. Uh, the first thing I did was study all of Naoki's older versions to get an idea of the color scheme I wanted to do because it was really important to keep that first pink style feel to the car, but I really wanted to transform it and put my own style into it. Um, I, I really hope Naoki can make it out to the next Super D event and uh, my next dream, since I've already collaborated with Rio, would be to collaborate with P.S. Taka because I have a lot of respect for him as well.
After the videos, um, after the Super D event, um, there was a lot of speculation about his his engine setup, and uh, you know, for him to be able to hang with the Formula D drivers, a lot of people thought was impossible. And you know, a lot of people claimed that he didn't have a stock SR. They, they're saying that he has a fully built Stroker 2.2 with a, a, a VE head and you know, 500 plus horsepower. But uh, the truth is, you know, we put in a essentially stock SR with bolt-ons. Uh, nothing, nothing too crazy or anything. In America, you learn to get the power into it first, but in Japan, you learn to get the car fast first. Because like you go to the mountains, Japanese are always about the mentor, they've got the senpai, the guy that's there that's the boss. And you go with your, you go out with your group of friends and you've got the guy that you respect and he's faster than everybody else. So you just go out there and you try and catch and catch and try and catch him. American style drifting is never lift, just put your foot down and hold it down. Um, but with Japanese drifting, there's a lot more uh, finesse and modulation of throttle and, and clutch work as well. And uh, I feel like that's lacking in U.S. drifting. Everybody, look around you right now. There are some drifting legends here right now. There are some people out here who have been drifting since drifting came to the U.S. We are super stoked to welcome them here. Naoki Nakamura, come over here.
flips straight to the floor and blows smoke everywhere, but you'll never catch up because it's not just about that. As opposed to in Japan, you sort of can't just put your foot in and slide and slip and slide everywhere because there's no car parks, there is no big roads and stuff. You're in the middle of some skinny little road in the mountain and stuff, you can't just gas it and rah, because you're going to be up backwards up the wall, right? you got to develop that finesse first. So Japanese figure, you know, drive a bit more, a little bit more, a little bit faster, a little bit faster, and sort of dandish car to drive really fast. As opposed to America where it's all like build the car to hold the high power and skid up real good because you've got the big space to do it in. That's the simple difference between the two. And both have become refined. The short course sort of style of aggressive driving in the tighter sort of roads and stuff versus the big course, high power, big open area type of drifting is just developed in two different ways. It's a different style. And then you've got the short course stuff we're trying to introduce into Japan and, and which we have done at that event ride. It's the first time for Americans to really see it in the flesh with Melky driving in front of them and now they fucking get it. Yeah. So definitely there's a lot of room for expansion. US guys don't travel to Japan much, so they don't get to experience what it's really like over there. And um, despite that though, they're fascinated by it at the same time. And yet, without actually seeing it in real, you can't really get your head around exactly what's going on. So they're just looking at the magazines and the books and the videos and all the rest. But at the end of the day is, um, no one's actually experienced for real. So, so by emulating what they see in the magazines and stuff, it, they're making their interpretation of what drifting is. But not really getting it, you know? So it's developed into its own sport, which actually has turned out good. Like, it's actually turned out in a, in a big industry, and you know, it's making a lot of money and stuff. But on the flip side, it's, it's, it's because it's slightly different, there's so much opportunity for expansion as well at the same time. He's relentless. He just keeps pushing and pushing and pushing. He's just relentless. He just doesn't quit. You know, you think about, I oh, you know, how to engineer the car better, how to do this better, how to do that better, but he'll just fuck that all off and just drive hard. You know, you just keep driving and driving and driving. You drive around all those problems until a point where his skill gets so much higher than everybody else's because he's just giving up on the 
the extra details. I mean, and keeping it simple is, is the most important part, I think. And that's why he's so much better. I've been watching him drift online for a long time and and I thought it was just on video that he goes this crazy but he shows up and every single run he's throwing backwards entries and it's like it's no joke he, this is how he drives every it's consistent everyone keeps coming up they're like yeah he really drives like that every single time so it's uh, it's pretty good seeing him drift in real life driving has you know great impact on you when you when you see it in person. Oh, he's a wild man. Uh, he is a free spirit. He is probably the most free person I've ever met in my life. Um, he's a child at heart and he's fearless. He's completely fearless. He charges so hard. And uh, yeah, no no fear. No fear at all. アメリカンスタイルは日本でも使おうかなと思います。アメリカンスタイルって何ですか?えっと、適当なこと。ドライバーいいドライバーいっぱいいましたね。やっぱアニマルスタイルのあの彼らと走ってたら紫のみんなと
的ないよ。保証的ないよ。保証的ないよ。保証的ないよ。